So I stumbled across this clip of John Fugel saying on MSNBC, and he absolutely took the words right out of my mouth with this quote. He said, I would love to leave behind right-wing fundamentalists and Christian nationalists who use Jesus, whose birth we celebrate, as a prop while legislating and fighting against his actual teachings. And if you can go find that clip and watch it, it's great. You can see that he makes the entire panel really uncomfortable because he just keeps driving the point home that these people love to celebrate the birth of Jesus. They love to show the nativity scene, but they never actually focus on the three years of teaching that Jesus actually did. And they never talk about any of the things that he did to help people. They're always using Jesus as a way to weaponize him against other people and people they disagree with. And that's one of the biggest things that I face when I'm doing content like this, I always have people in my comment section really coming after me saying, why do you always, why are you always knocking Jesus? Why are you always knocking God? I have never knocked Jesus. I've never knocked God. That's not what I'm doing. I'm talking about people's interpretation of God. There has been times that I have took issue with how, with how people interpreted it. And there's times that I've took issue with how people use Jesus's teachings to beat other people down but I've never had anything bad to say about either of them. And I've never had anything bad to say about people who actually goes out and lives the way that Jesus taught. If people were actually out there living what Jesus taught, instead of using him as a weapon, you'd never see me make a video about it. I would have nothing to say. But yet people will always come at me and say, you better be careful what you say about men of God. I don't consider these people to be men of God when I start talking. And John Fugel saying just absolutely uh, lays waste to it in that clip. If you can find it, it's absolutely great. And it reminded me, you know, there's a chapter that's always been one of my favorites in the Bible, Matthew chapter 25. And uh, I always think about modern day Republican Party. I think about MAGA Republicans. I think about the Christian Nationalists whenever I read this chapter, because it talks about how that in the day of judgment, they're all going to stand up there before God and they're going to claim to have done all these marvelous things in his name. So I'm going to read to you a little bit from this because this has always been one of my favorite passages when it comes to these modern day Christians. This starts at verse uh, 31 of chapter 25, the Gospel of Matthew. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right, and he will put the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For when I was hungry, you gave me meat. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee a drink? When did we see you a stranger, and took you in, or naked, and clothed you? When were you sick, or in prison, and we came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say, Verily I say unto you, Insomuch as ye have done for the least of my brethren, you have done it for me. Then shall he say to them on the left hand, Depart from me, you are cursed into an everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. I was naked, and you clothed me not. I was sick and in prison, and you never visited me. Then they shall say unto him, But Lord, when, when saw we a hungry or thirsty or naked or a stranger or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee. And he will answer unto them and say, Verily I say unto you, in so much as ye did it not to the least of my brethren, you did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Now, every time I read that chapter, I picture these mega Republicans standing up there saying, but wait a minute, hold on. We, you know, we've been, we've been preaching your words. We've been saying your name and every speech we ever gave. When did we not help you, Lord? And him say, well, when you didn't help the least of my brethren, when you didn't feed the hungry. When has the Republicans brought one bill to the table to feed the hungry? 
When has the Republicans brought one bill to the table to give the thirsty something to drink? When have they brought one bill to the table to clothe the naked? And when, when the hell have they ever had any ideas of how to welcome people in or visit the sick? Donald Trump talked about his health care plan. It was going to be the biggest and the best. Did he ever produce it? No. All they wanted to do was tear down Obamacare. When have they ever come up with anything to do or to help anyone? For everybody out there that loves to, you know, bash Joe Biden, I don't like Joe Biden, he's not my favorite president, whatever, I don't really care how you look at him. Joe Biden has put stuff in place that will help people. And he doesn't go around here quoting the Bible every few minutes. He doesn't go around here calling himself a patriot and claiming to be a Christian every time he opens his mouth. The people that does that are the people who are doing the least for the brethren. And so... I know the Bible is open to interpretation, and I know everybody's going to believe it however they want to, and I know everybody's going to cherry pick out the parts they like and leave the parts behind that they don't like. But when I read verses and chapters like that, I always picture these MAGA modern-day Republicans standing there going, but we did everything for you. When did we not do it for you? I think they've missed the point. They need to start focusing on the teachings of Jesus. And if they would focus on those teachings and they would actually do something, to further those teachings. And that's how they treated other people. You wouldn't hear me say a word about it. And I'm sure John Fugel saying would have nothing to say about it. But the reason why people like us are saying what we're saying is because they don't reflect his teachings. Start reflecting the teachings of Jesus, I'll stop. But as long as you go out and do the exact opposite of everything he ever stood for, I'm going to be sitting right here in this chair calling it out.